by no means should I go on a bike for a few weeks. It's not a bike, it's an e-bike. Can't fall off. RC shoes, fitted rear guard. They're healing up really well. This is Blazing Bikes. Super secret track. Where did it go? Ooh. Definitely don't want to crash. Where's it going? Minimum batch never fails. 52k. I'm back. Yo, how's it going? So, saw the uh, surgeon at the hospital a few days ago, and basically they've looked at this x-ray. I'll show you here. They've, uh, they were very impressed with my healing, which I'm happy with. Said I'm healing like an athlete. Said by no means should I go on a bike for a few weeks. So uh, I've come over to Church Stratton and uh, it's not a bike, it's an e-bike, so I sort of get away with that. Uh, I've got a few things to show you, stuff to talk about. I'm going to go on a big, long e-bike XC ride. Really excited about it. Taking it super steady. They also said no compaction sports, something like that. Uh, so basically, I can't fall off. I'm not aiming to fall off. And I've got it. I've just realised I've got my funky new RC shoes with clips and uh, my flat pedal, so I'm going to have to take my clips out of it, which is pretty dumb. Here are the new RC shoes, lovely. They've got the boa there for easy in and out, and uh, oh, these things are so well made. That's the bottom of them right there. Cleats are fitted. Luckily, I've just realised I've got some spare shoes in the van that are kept for emergency purposes, so I don't need to take these apart because I am running. Some of Coop's um, Unite components, pedals. What else have I got on here? I think I've mentioned I've got the WTB seat. I've put an inner tube under there. I've got the Petey's thing on there. And the Michelin Wild E tyres. Still going strong, no problems with them. And I've got some brand new Galfer rotors. And I've just had to send off some photos to Psycho of the new fitted rear guard that goes especially on the Orbea Wild. Absolutely love this bike. Check it out. Gorgeous. If you want to see the scar after three and a half weeks, there you go. It's looking actually healing up really well. Chuff with it. Still in a bit of pain. I've got a bit of uh, paracetamol and ibuprofen just for today just to ease it off a bit. And I'll go either as long as I can on the battery or until it starts hurting too much. So starting off in Stratton, I just want to show you what is here. This is Blazing Bikes and uh, the station in and this is all their stuff. So you've got these beautiful lodges here that you can stay in. Fantastic for a weekend. Now we're working with these guys. Uh, come away from Tweaks because Tweaks couldn't uh, live up to the promises they offered. Uh, not so much their fault, it more down to people they worked with who said they were going to sort us out bits and pieces. Then you've got um, you've got pods up there. So you've got the shop here, uh, big, big track dealership, and obviously Orbea, so we can send people there. They're after bikes, and then they've also got very loud choppers and a beautiful restaurant here called The Station. Mile up the road, mile or so, and you're up to the Long Men, and that's where we're going exploring today. Starting off in Eco today. When the legs get tired, I'm going to go up to trail. Try and avoid the high modes unless it's a savage climb. And up here is, they've got some Stretton massive 50 mile trail run today so I think we're going to see a load of runners at some point maybe also want to have a look at our track haven't ridden that in months see how that's going see if anything else new is up here about a mile later we we'll start off into the long men right so I'm gonna have a very steady poodle down our track to see how it is so over there is where you get onto the open moorland of the Longman.
Yeah, hate that wet bit. So I couldn't feel the arm at all. Uh, coming up, you feel it a bit now. Just a little bit achy, but won't be doing too much pulling and pushing, if you know what I mean. Oh, yeah, you can feel it. It's weird, I don't feel it in the collarbone when I'm riding. I feel it like the back of my shoulder. Oh, I'd never break so much down here normally. Hey ho, I'm not trying to prove anything. I'm going to ride my bike and get back into it. I've got this true tune um, that replaces the tokens in the forks. Meant to make it more linear. I can't really tell at the moment because I'm not pushing hard. Which uh, could be a good idea. I don't know. Todd reckons it's not. He reckons it should be more progressive for faster riders. But then he's a lot faster than me. Nowadays, he's currently at Kersus, practicing today, ready for racing tomorrow. I'm going to go and see him and do a bit of filming, get him going down the track a bit, which is cool. Oh, so nice to get out and ride. Confidence isn't that bad, actually, but I'm not pushing on. I'm only going steady. You know, I've got... Well, I did have KOM down here at one point. Oh, I've got the wrong way. Ah. Yeah, when I lean a certain way, sort of almost forwards and to the right, my uh, shoulder almost gives up on me. It's quite weird. I can watch that. Don't want it letting go. The last thing I can do is fall off. Steadiest I've ridden down here in a very, very long time. Who remembers the time Tommy C did that step down? Farmer's been busy there. And that's that one. Right, let's get out and up into the open. Another climb up this section where there's a load of tracks. I'm just going to do another one that Todd and I found probably six months ago, but we never filmed it. Um, it's pretty cool. I think it's been here ages, but we didn't know about it. I don't think many do. All right, so wet feet again. Off to the left here. There it is. Super secret track. All right, let's give it a blast. Probably gonna look dark on the camera. Oh my god, it's tight. Is it this one? Yeah, I guess so. Wait. Wow, it's like bright green, like luminous green in here. Lots and lots of tight turns. Oh, this track's never ridden. But it's got some, if I remember rightly, when we walked it, we were up here digging. Or uh, well we could have been, legally maybe we weren't. Um, and we just walked it and it looks like it's got some really good turns on it. It's hard to actually see where it goes because you haven't got the dark, because it's unridden. Nicely, nicely made. I think I know who will have made it. Someone who not too keen on me, don't care at all, share the trails, that's what I say, that's what I think, what these people try and keep it all secret, fair enough if it's like, you know, you're going to get in the shit, you're not going to get in the shit riding around here. Where does it go? Down here I think, where? I don't know where I am now, ah. Third climb up, I've switched the trail now, feeling a bit, uh, I don't know, fancy a little bit more assistance. Here we are, the gate into the open, and then onto the Mend glider station round here. It's October, I'm absolutely boiling, I've only got a soft shell on, I thought this would be fine but it's really warm this weekend. Something else that is uh, super cool about a long wind is you've got these wild horses up here and literally see them as soon as you get here. 
look at that I know I always say it when I do this bit here but it is so cool so that one's just been released to go off for a flight that's the way I always go or over down there do you know what I'm gonna head over there a bit of an explorey day today down here literally I know the rough direction I'm heading but I've no idea where I'm going oh. I really want to let it go and go mental but I just can't it's what I slipped off on here I could re-break the collarbone it's still like a shadow on the brake when I looked on the x-ray you have to wait for that shadow to go before you can actually start pushing on properly. I've just realised my rear brake pads are uh, virtually down to the metal. Not ideal. Especially when I got some back at the shed. That's pretty annoying. Big ass green lane climb now. Back off the road and then up to the top heading back towards the glider station done this on motorbikes in the years when I used to do green laning a bit slower like this here we are at the top but the whole bank a bit busier up here you can see people setting up for this run it must be quite a big deal all right see how close I let us get that close I don't know where I am and sort of don't it's so easy to get into the wrong valley here. I'm trying to go either Cardin Mill Valley or the next one across, which is like where the golf club is. There's the golf club over there. I want to be heading around the back of them big hills. You know what I love when I'm going down bits like this? Sound of the Chris King. Sounds so sweet. Oh, it's not gnarly, it's smooth, but it feels so nice just to get a bit of pace up. car park here amazing view I'm just gonna show you absolute miles from here look at that all right head the descent now head to the descent head down the descent so you know obviously this is as gnarly as it gets I'm sorry I can't bring you anything too gnarly right now and I really do appreciate you guys who are still watching my stuff and all the lovely messages I've had, it really is fantastic. I needed it as well, I did have some moments where I was feeling pretty crap. But this, oh my god, this does not uplift the spirit coming and doing this. That's a bit more like it. Dodgy gorse bushes here. Bite my arm instead. Hiya. Excuse me. Thank you. Some people are amazing, aren't they? Oh, I have bad hearing. <laughs> Back up beside the hill, I think. Actually on a steep bit of climb. Obviously it never looks it on the camera. So I think this trail brings you down the side of the golf club in a minute. You can get a hell of a lot of miles in around Stretton without realising. That's what I'm aiming for. 
it's not on the knack of this rear rotor. But to resort to walk mode here. This <laughs> is seriously stupid. Forgot about this bit. Oh, I love walk mode. Actually works on this one with the Rocky Mountain. This like on and off. It's really weird. Anybody for a round of golf? What, what, what? Or what I call an angry walk. Hi mate. Right, mate. Busy here today. Yeah, I have a large latte and a bit of that cake please. Yeah, are you eating it or uh, just out there. Please. Large coffee. Can I drink? A bit of cake. £10.25. Oh my god. Robbing bastards. Alright, let's get out of this expensive place. I'm going to do the Cardi Mill climb. I think it's going to be like super busy. So last time I come up here was on that little lappy air cross country bike. Thinking, because it's an XC bike and I was quite fit, I'd get up this climb and I, I failed. It's how it's horrible. And then this first bit's really technical, so let's see what the e-bike makes of it, eh? Alright. Oh, nearly. Well, I sort of did it. If they weren't stood on the smooth line, I would have done. Oh my God, it's so easy to do this climb on this bike. It's ridiculous. I was absolutely dead at this point on that cross-country bike uh, a soft top mer you know what they say about soft tops it's like a foreskin peel it back and you can see the bell end inside <laughs> right chaps how you doing back into the airfield uh, you always bollock here if you go on the actual path. So I'm going to go back to the woods, a bit of dicking about, and then head back over to Minton Batch to finish. I've got two and a half bars left. I think I'm on about 37k now. So I'm quite chuffed getting the miles in. Let's see what I can do before I run out of battery, eh? Wild, all these weird long trailers. Back in the wood, in my happy place. I love the XC riding, but I really love shredding proper tracks. I think the XC riding I'd prefer if I was with a mate. Oh, confidence is coming back. Right, so the one I've just discovered, I'm gonna do the one next to it, which always knows a good one. This one. Doesn't look like many people have been riding here lately. 
It's funny, as soon as you get going on this stuff, I can feel the collarbone. It's just from sort of breaking, moving your body about a lot more, a lot more pressures from different angles on it. Oh my god, it's worth it though. It's so good, even though it's a bit dark in here. Or it doesn't help having like me react to like lenses in these glasses. But I am loving the melons. Until where the rear pads going, as you know when I'm braking. Far too much at the moment. See if I can get this technical bit. Definitely don't want to crash. This is a techie track as well. This is steeper as well than it will look on camera. Yes. A lot slower than I'd normally hit it, but I don't care. I just want to get it clean and safe. been up here and uh, wow man someone's been busy looks really cool lovely berm let's have a little go wow look at these turns it's really rare to see the horses in this part of Stretton not normally in the woods all right girls all right girl how's it going go on trot on Trot on ladies, I've got mountain biking to do. So it's down here, I'm right at some point. Oh, right. oh. Along here, then right. So go up left, and I think it's this one, yes. Nice. So it's a ah, long turn. That's a bit of a weird one. Follow it all the way round. Where's it going now? Hmm, bit of a lip. And then it's uh, down to our track, which I might as well do again. I hate the noise of metal on metal brakes. I should stop and go home, but sod that, I'm enjoying myself. I'd rather replace a rotor and have a decent ride. We get on the right line this time, not the Strava one. And this one, our original one when we made the track. Then it takes you on that corner back. Oh, that brake sounds horrendous. I'm trying to avoid my back brake, which possibly isn't a very good idea. Nice, lovely. I find it amazing in such a mint wood like this that no one else is digging, unless they're ones I don't know about. So, I'm not condoning it, but it'd be awesome if someone would come and dig some tracks here. Right, power climb, see how far I can get up here. Ooh. Never done this before. Just trying to do a different climb than the boring road. Right, now over to Minton Batch. Definitely rinsed the batch room onto one bar now. Chuffed with that. Uh, the main thing I wanted to do today was stay in a lowish mode, which has been trail most of the day, to be honest, not eco, and nail the battery. And you've got to remember, this is a brand new battery as well. Warranty replacement, so. I have made the most of the ride. So we've just got mint and batch, probably using the front brake a lot. And then uh, a few miles back to blazing bikes. All right then, let's do it. Oh, that back brake sounds bad. See how wet this is, it's usually always wet. Nice and 
bloody no heroics. On my line, dropping off. Great track this is. So natural. Just a shame it gets so friggin' wet down here. It's always hard to find places where I can wipe the camera. Oh, I'm in the stream. Didn't mean to go down there. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I feel my arse getting wet. I have had one of them onesie things off uh, dirt ledge, but I've been boiling in it. That's for the middle of winter, and it's one of them ones that's uh, for some weird reason. It's like shorts, even though it's a onesie. I don't quite get it. I'll try it, but yeah, it doesn't really make much sense to me. Last time I come down this track on the e-bike, I was joint king of the mountain. And I had, it was a bit where I didn't really try that hard, and I swore I'd go flat out next time. So I'll wait until I'm better, and I'm going to have it. Wow. Well, that wasn't something I was expecting to see down there. Oh, minimum batch. Never fails. You know when you finish it, when you get to this shit hole on the farm. Always look at this and think, I'd love to have a place like this in the country. And then this geezer literally doesn't care. All scrap everywhere. The right mess. A couple of little laying climbs on this just to finish so I'm going to treat myself to full power see if it lasts the ride still got a full bar here we are So guys, that's 52k I managed and 1700 meters of climbing, so chuffed with that. I'm back, I'm not at full pace yet, but I'm feeling way more confident on the bike. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, check out links in description where we've got our sponsors, podcasts and the merch site. See you soon, I'll be getting faster and faster on each ride now. Tomorrow I'm off to see Rodney race at Kersus. For now, keep it pinned.